kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time, the first Monday after returning from the Barber Festival in Leeds, Alabama. Scrapper that delivers had called me when I was at Barber and said he had five units. I told him just to leave them in my yard. I'll settle up with him this week. So we're going to look at these. I'm not sure what I'm paying yet, but I'm thinking... Ten dollars each, so this will probably be a, a fifty dollar haul. So I got two bags, a pressure washer, and four mowers. So we'll go through the mowers next. The uh, Troy built somebody's stole the coil off of this. The plug is missing. It sounds like it has compression. I I put my thumb on the. Um, plug hole and it, it does feel like compression. I don't know if they stole the coil for another project but this will be a, a good parts machine. It's a 2017 Briggs and Stratton 875. Looks like it's in great condition. I can use the tank and the carburetor on other projects. And the recoil also works. So this will be a parts machine missing the hose, the wand. So this TB110 is the uh, best specimen of them all. The Troy built is a 2016. It's complete. The only issue I see is the uh, pull cord is missing or broken. So we're going to come back to this one. I have a Craftsman recoil. We're going to throw it on this and see if it starts. There's fuel in the tank. We'll look at this one in a little while. This may start with um, a working recoil. I have my fingers crossed. I had several messages when I was at the Barber Festival this past weekend. People were looking for mowers and I was nowhere to be found locally so hopefully I can sell a few mowers here in the next couple days. This here happens to be a Toro Super Recycler. It's um, got a production date November of 2000. It appears to be the aluminum deck. Uh, the issue with this thing is the safety brake cable um, up here on the handlebars broke. This pot metal just broke where the uh, safety brake cable attaches right there. So this thing has been rigged up. Somebody's put a string here which was pretty clever with a nut on the um, kill mechanism. I'll show you how that works. There's a nut here tied in the string at the right length. You just pull back and put it in where the uh, cable should go. So this one may start. There's no cap and no fuel in it. Um, there was just a tiny bit of fuel because I primed it and I could see it burping. So let me just pull on this thing now and see if it's going to do anything. I have happy juice nearby. Yeah, little, little bit of burpage so there's not much fuel in the left in the tank. So this fine machine came from Pro Lawn Supply, Cattleman Road. 
lawn boy, wheel horse, and turro dealer. Missing the air filter cover. Nitro. Okay, a little bit of fuel that was in it kept it going. So the the hard part's going to be finding this personal pace mechanism here that uh, cracked. I'll have to scrounge around my U pull it section, but this is going to be a rough deal looking for this in the um, the brake bar is missing as well. So maybe I can change handles. I'm not sure what I'll do with that one, but we'll mess around with it. This next unit is a 2006 Troy built, self-propelled with a Honda engine. Um, this one is uh, missing the grab bar for the self-propelled. This thing's all screwed up here on the handles. Self-propelled cable is broken. Uh, somebody's chopped a hole back here. I guess that's for the grass discharge. The deck is cracked. And there's only one bolt holding the engine to the deck. The others, uh, one bolt's missing and one's just flopping around due to rust. The whole top of the deck here is cracked. And split. So the deck is toast, the uh, engine seemed to pull over freely. So the 2006 Honda may go on something else. Last but not least, we got an old Tecumseh 6.5 recycler. This thing was dragged out of somebody's backyard. Uh, severely rusted on the deck. Tread broken here on the front. Wheel drive. None of the cables function. They're locked in the same position due to rust. I can't budge anything. So this will be a parts deal. The um, deck is unsalvageable. Pull cord's broken as well, no pull cord. So the 06 Toro rough shape, maybe I can use engine parts off of it of the engine. If I can get it unattached from the rusty uh, deck, we'll be in business. Let's move over to the um, Troy built now.
the 2016 we're going to remove this I've already taken the three bolts out for the recoil let's throw a craftsman recoil on it only difference is the sticker here in the the middle Actually, this one won't work because the recoil cutout for this one is for a high oil dipstick. This is for a, the small yellow stubby dipstick. It doesn't have the cutout here, so I can't throw this one on right now. If I were to remove the... Um, dipstick tube oil would splash all over the place. Which actually I may do. I'm going to stick a rag in there just to do a quick testy test. There's always a way around it. I'm just anxious to see if this thing will start and the um, reason that it um, was thrown to the street, if it's the recoil, this will be a quick and easy. Notice that somebody changed out the carburetor. It's got a brand new carb and a brand new hose line. Looks like an aftermarket carburetor somebody threw on this. And the blade looked fairly new. So somebody's spent some money on this thing and I guess they didn't know how to change a pull cord rope out. Let's see what we got for an air filter. No air filter. This is a pull and go, no priming. It's got fuel, it smells like fuel. Could be contaminated, let's help it. Automatic choke is in the closed position as it should be. It's got a plug and it looks like the safety brake cable is moving far enough back to 
undo the kill wire. I don't know why it won't fire off with motivation. NST, never heard of it. Looks like a NGK knockoff with the uh, green paint KR K6RTC China knockoff made by New Star. That sounds Chinese. Let's see if it's sparking. All I'm doing is grounding out the plug against the muffler. I should see spark here. I did see a little bit of spark. Let me see if I can grab a known plug or a common brand plug and put it on there. Sorry, not ready for you. I'm doing this on the fly. Okay, I just took one off of that Troy built Honda and NGK. This should get me by. What I'm looking at is plug depth. I don't want to bang the cylinder. It looks like they're about even in depth. Shorter's fine. I don't want anything longer than what was in there. And they look about the same. <laughs> 